Hey Brahmas, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about OneSearch. So in the library's website, on our homepage, right in the middle, you can see this box that says OneSearch. It's a discovery tool that lets you search through our databases. So OneSearch is not exactly a database. It just helps us look through all of our databases at the same time, for the most part. So remember how we clicked on databases A through Z and you opened like 70 something databases that Pierce Library subscribes to? So the goal of OneSearch is that it's supposed to search most of these at the same time. Now, if we go back to OneSearch itself, right? It's already on the setting for articles and eBooks. So this means that whatever keywords you throw in here, it's going to try to show you only digital books and articles from journals or databases or newspapers, I mean. So you could easily switch it to books and this was more used when we were physically opened and you could see all the physical books and where to find them in the library stacks. But because we're close, we're not really going to use that one. And then the attribute that says everything, that just means that it's going to try to look for any type of source, right? Whether it's an ebook, an article, a journal, a newspaper, a conference proceeding, I don't know, right? There, there, there's, there's probably quite a bit. But for the most part, you're going to be using articles and ebooks or the everything attribute. So what's gonna happen here is, let's say that you were interested in police brutality, right? I'm just picking a topic, two simple keywords about that topic. So OneSearch is going to, I guess, pull up any sources that in their record mention the keywords police and brutality. Nothing special, right? It's just two simple keywords. Um, and since I chose articles and ebooks, I'm hoping to get obviously articles, right? But on the left hand side, if you wanted to, you could easily filter for just books. And this is going to show you some of our ebooks. So let's try it out. Now, ebooks are very useful because everybody has access to them, right? If one person uses an ebook, that doesn't mean that other students cannot use that same ebook. And now that I chose that filtered, I'm seeing the book available online. So this tells me, okay, this is an ebook. I'm gonna click on the title. I'm gonna open up the record of the actual ebook through OneSearch. And then where it says view online down here, EBSCO host ebooks. So it's showing me the database that's hosting that particular ebook. And once again, it's gonna ask me to log in. And then over here, this was just the record, right? The information about this book, the metadata about this ebook. So just very quickly, that's how you would search for ebooks. And OneSearch is supposed to make that easy. Uh, but once again, you could also have just gone to databases A through Z and you could just say sort the databases for the ebooks only but even here it says we have four different databases of ebooks so does that mean that you would have had to search for police brutality in each and every um four, four of these yes and no right i mean that would have taken more time and maybe one search could save you time by searching through most of them but i can tell you now that the ebook central and the ebsco ebooks are the two best databases for academic books. And they also have the largest collection of ebooks inside of them, which is why I would say they are the best, or in this case, the most popular.